Hey guys, Cheryl Fuller with Spiritual Wealth. Uh, Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. Um, having an awesome day. Hope you guys are as well. Going to talk to you today about daily, daily morning routines that I do that I'd like to share with you that I think will help. All right, so let's just get right to it. Sometimes before I even get out of bed, I start preparing. I start um, calling in, connecting. Um, if I ever wake up and have a negative thought, I immediately clear it. Like don't, if you catch yourself having negative thoughts, um, as soon as you wake up, yeah, catch yourself right away and be like, oh, that's not the road we wanna go down today. So in order to help with that, Sometimes I get up and I'm like, I even do kind of like a little dance, like while I'm getting like dressed and stuff, I'll be like, everything's always working out for me. Today's gonna be an awesome day. Today's gonna be an awesome day. Today's gonna be an awesome day. Um, and everything's always working out for me are two of some of my favorite um, things that I always like to say because it just seems to uh, really work. So um, another thing I do is uh, I, uh, even when I'm getting my coffee, I'm saying the same thing. Everything's always working out for me. Today's gonna be an awesome day. I, I'm taking deep breaths and you know, getting in alignment. And then um, when I get uh, my coffee, which I know I, I'm still drinking coffee, but I don't drink very much. But anyway, so I have my coffee and um, I usually, um, sometimes, I haven't in a while, but I used to back in the day listen to all the Abraham Hicks she has an amazing, um, and it's actually still in the beginning on my list, it's ama an amazing morning uh, morning meditation, and I usually listen to that if I am if I do wake up with contrast, but it's been a long time, but if, if you want to um, entertain that, that, that would be a really good suggestion. Um, now I wake up um, pretty happy, pretty good mood, so um, I'm already kind of feeling pretty happy, so... The great thing is is um, I start doing my affirmations. I do these, I do all these. Um, and then I write in my appreciation journal. And the reason why that is so important is because it really sets your momentum for an appreciation because one, one, when you really look at um, everything that you're appreciative for or grateful for, or however you like to um, put it, it automatically sets, you, sets your kind of eye on that ball. So then guess what it's going to be like? It's like the universe like, oh, oh, she's, ha she's happy about that. So yeah, let's give her some more of that. She's, she's, she's in appreciation, you know, so it just, and it also helps your vibration and help you go up. Another thing that I do is I feel like I really was a born visionary. I feel like that was just, I was, I've always been a visionary. I think we all are really, you know, when we daydream a lot of, a lot of times that's, that's us being a visionary. You know, that's uh, usually when we're daydreaming, what are we doing? We're visualizing our future but the most important thing and I find the most powerful is is when we are in the present moment when we're completely just in the present moment because have you noticed like you'll manifest something and then you're be even before it like manifests you're already kind of on to the next thing you're already like working on to the next thing and so I think it's um the most amazing most powerful and the probably the best feeling is when we are all in the present moment we can even do that now just be like just be in the present moment and just appreciate everything. Like I appreciate my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate the opportunity that, um, or even just the guts that I've had to even uh, do a YouTube channel. So I really, um, sometimes it, I get discouraged because I want to be bigger and I want to do this and I want to have that and I want to have better equipment. And I want to, you know, do all these things, but I realize that just the fact that I'm doing it, period, is so much to be proud of and so much to be appreciative for. And and so I really have to take that moment. And so you do the same in your life, wherever you're at, just be like, I appreciate that I'm here. I appreciate this moment. I appreciate how I've gotten here, you know. And so even if it's just in a good mindset, you know. So I have um, my appreciation journal, which I think I've already shared. I'm on. To, I've already finished up my other ones. I have like two. I bought like two kind of the matching ones. So this is kind of my visionary. What I wrote. It's called. Um, I can't remember the name. Everybody calls it something different. I think, but it's basically where you write how you want your life to be. It's I'm drawing a blank right now, and then appreciation where you are, 
so it's key so and that just I think that's it's really healthy for people to do that because it also you can look back and it is kind of like a little journal for you as well you can be like oh yeah we did that that day and oh man it really takes you back to those moments that you love and appreciate so you can kind of get into those moments to read back on you have those that you can you know read back and they are very special and then another thing that I do is I keep like um, this is like my little thing. I keep like my grocery list in there. I keep like all my little places I go to get my stuff. I write all that stuff in there. I write focus folders, stuff that we need to do, our goals, stuff we want to do, need to do to the house and stuff like that. And that just kind of helps you keep and prioritize, you know, or even like when you go to the store and then you don't have your list, you forget what you need. And then guess what? You're going back to the store. You're just spinning in your wheels, kind of a waste of time. And space and not that it is necessarily you're always doing what you're meant to do but um and then of course i have my kindle and i read books and then um go on through my day with there and i've noticed a huge difference whenever i don't get a chance oh and of course i meditate um sometimes i meditate before i do anything else at all and what i've been doing lately is i haven't been bringing my phone out and I know that's probably like, oh. So yeah, that's um, been amazing. I have not been bringing my phone out because um, we kind of listen to like stuff at night still. And, and so I keep it in there for my husband to listen to when I wake up. And I've just noticed the hugest difference on not bringing my phone out and really just focusing all on my stuff and you know meditating and not um, going right to my phone. And what do we do? We check. We check this, we check that, we go look on that, and we get this, and we get that, and then we kind of get on, I feel like other people's pendulum are negative energies that we necessarily don't really want to get into, so without bringing my phone out, I really have that clearance and just that like clear of just me, and so those are some things that I really think uh, are really uh, kind of helps you just kind of set the stage for your day and helps you, you know, start it in a positive way and then helps it kind of end that way. And then at night when you go to sleep as well, um, it's really important to put your intention and uh, think about what you're thinking about as you're falling to sleep. You really need to set your intentions um, in a positive a positive state because that's kind of where it's gonna be, be started out the next day. You can even kind of think about how amazing your day was, how amazing you want tomorrow to be, um, and of course, you know, I always say thank you so much. I pray thank you so much for blessing me with my husband and my house. And I, I'll go down the list. My kids, it's usually that, that first. My husband, my <laughs> and then the house and all the other stuff. So, um, you know, wake up in appreciation and go to bed in appreciation. And I promise your life will change. And when you, st and always stay in appreciation, that's one of um, my favorite one of uh, Abraham's she says constant state of appreciation and that's exactly where we need to be so um, let's move on to Cheryl's secrets I don't think we want to do do you guys want to do an affirmation today I wish I should have went live so you guys can answer that so I made an affirmation a long time ago that I didn't I will share with you today kind of it's not the prettiest one that's probably why I don't want to share it I didn't write it on the back so but I think I can remember that so my income is constantly increasing I'll just let you guys read it <laughs> see my income is constantly increasing I manage and save this plan very well I am prospering at every turn I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe thank you do you guys like that? And we'll go on to Cheryl's Secrets. It's a beautiful day today. I kind of like to do another video outside because it's puffy white clouds and big blue skies today. This one won't let me let it loose. Colors, cash, and savings a stash. Says, when your mama said never spend your last hundred dollars well don't saving change and watching it grow helps having cash on you helps you attract more even if you're not spending it in the physical while you're out and about spend it in the mind 
Think about everything you could buy with it over and over. Bump up in your mind even having and spending a hundred thousand or millions vibrations. That is from that is from Abraham Hicks actually. She said put a hundred dollars in your wallet and go around town or you don't even have to go around town. You just think in your mind, oh yeah, well, I could I could buy that with that, I could buy that with that, I could buy this with that hundred bucks, I can buy that with that hundred bucks. And do it like ten times over and then you'll realize you're you know you a thousand bucks, but anyway, so that's something cool. I do that with I do that with like millions of dollars. <laughs> so that's what you can do. And then um, before we end, I wanted to talk about something that was really cool that actually I've been doing, and I was actually watching um, Lore and Aaron, um, and there she said the same exact thing. So it really tripped me out because I was doing that same exact thing and I was like whoa so yeah when you think about stuff that you want to manifest you think what would I be doing like okay so if I won the lottery tonight what would I do differently tomorrow that I did today like it probably wouldn't be that much difference you know what I mean we're probably going to be it's like wherever you go there you are you're still going to be the same person even if you have a lot of money or even if you have that paid off this paid off it's like you know what I mean so I always think about that especially like sometimes when you get stressed out about taxes, it's tax season. Sometimes you get it stressed out about tax season or that. Um, I've owed taxes before. So it's like, you know, it's like this too shall pass. We've already been here and done that. And I've actually had a moment to where, um, where you don't react, where you don't have a negative reaction to something. It is huge. It is huge. Uh, um, transformation literally that happened to me it was years and years ago um, uh, I won't even I don't want to get into the details but our taxes had really gotten screwed up somebody had dropped the ball and I just remember I was in such a high vibration when my husband called and told me this terrible news that it didn't even phase me I just knew to the core of me that it was gonna be okay that we were gonna be okay I just knew to the core of me and he couldn't believe the reaction and it was like he was blown away i i was kind of blown away too because um that was years ago and i had such an amazing positive attitude and it all turned out perfectly okay so anyways if you guys are going through some of that stress just know that it's all going to be okay you'll actually take yourself to a completely different dimension if you don't put your eye if you take your eye and put it over here you get it it's kind of like that focus over here and then you know you won't even that'll just send away and that's what I always think about all right guys um Cheryl Fuller spiritual wealth that's it for now have an awesome Tuesday I might do another video today if not I'll see you tomorrow